All right, the last episode, we continued our journey to Route 111. But before that, we went to the daycare with joined two birds. We haven't seen them for a long time. I miss them a lot. And surprisingly, they have leveled up a lot thanks to the great efforts of the daycare lady and daycare man. Afterwards, with these two birds in the party, we went to Route 111 by smashing those two rocks. Now the road is clear, we can explore the new areas. Fantastic. On the way to the north, we bumped into two journalists. They wanted to interview me and then they initiated a Pokemon battle. I suppose they wanted to live stream the whole fight. Well, the battle itself is such a cakewalk, not much to recap. We swept the floor in a minute. The hard part is the interview. It took me a while to figure out the right word to describe that boring battle actually. After that battle, we continued the journey. At this moment, we cannot get into the desert because we don't have the goggle protecting our eyes. So there's no other choice. We have to go west, which is Route 112. Well, on the way there, we have battled a bunch of trainers. They are somewhat using special Pokemon such as Skiploom, Rambo, Fanpy. They are rare species in Horn region, actually. In this process, what is better is Teolo is evolving to Swallow. That is remarkable, that's phenomenal, because Taylor has been with us for a while. She did a great contribution in the second gym battle, really outplayed there and saved our ass. Well, on top of that evolution, guess what? Wingo is also evolving to the next stage, becoming Pelipper. That's so magnificent, so awesome. It's such a good day to see both birds going to the next stage. Finally, by the entrance to the cable car, we saw two Magma team members. They were whispering, but somehow we overheard everything. So apparently they had an evil plan, and the rest of the crew went to another location called Port Arbor. Currently, we don't know where they're plotting, but obviously they're not doing charity. So we just stay put. If they have any actions, we will just punch them in the face. In the end, we find a cave. Well, it's actually been there forever. I just didn't see it. So I've already got into there. Without further ado, I will see you guys in the Pokemon world. Ooh, fiery path. What is that? There must be a lot of fiery Pokemon here. Ah, interesting. Ooh. Oh, it's really short. Oh, <laughs> we got new Pokemon here. Oh, Namo again. Oh, it's Ooh, level 16. Not bad. Let's catch this one. Uh, we can't use Water Gun. I wonder what natural power will turn into in this tunnel. Interesting. Shadow Ball. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. Ah. Why critical now? Uh, anyway, number is everywhere. It's not a big deal. By the way, I noticed we have a giant boulder here. Okay, Pokemon may be able to push it aside. We need HM Strand. We have it, but uh, we need the Pokemon to learn it first. Besides, we need the gym badge allowing us to use it outside of uh, battles. Anyway. Oh, this fiery path is really short actually. Let's see what Pokemon we have here. <gasps> Ooh! Coffee! Oh my god! Oh! Love this Pokemon! Oh! <gasps> it's so nostalgic! Oh. You know, Coffin keeps reminding me of Team Rocket because James loves using Coffin. Oh, every time it's smooth screen. <laughs> We can use one water gun. I won't kill him, I believe. Smart. Ew, I hate it. It might poison me. And it's super effective. Ah! <sighs> I'm mad. Okay, I need to switch out. You know what? Let's use iron. Because iron is steel type. It's totally immune to poison type. It won't be poisoned at all. <laughs> it doesn't affect me. And uh, let's try catching him. Pokeba! Neat! Oh, topping. Getting up close to a topping will give you a chance to observe through its thin skin the toxic gazes swirling inside. It blows up at the slightest 
stimulate. Ah, interesting. So it's a very sensitive Pokemon. Huh. It may explode. Lovely, lovely. Oh, pfft, I'm poisoned. Oh, I bought Anidos before. No worry about that. Ah, oh, so smart. Hello, where are you? There you go. No worry, Lumber. Alright, let's see what other Pokemons are living here. Oh, another Namo. Nothing rare. We have encounter level 16, so I would prefer catching a higher level one, so bye-bye. <laughs> How the matchup is staying here? It seems really hot. Yeah, it is for fire Pokemon, right? Why are you here? It's so weird. White relies on physical attack, and Lumber is not good at that. Let's have five more encounters, maybe, then we get out of the cave. We don't want to spend hours waddling here, wishing for new Pokemons. Let's use Willy Seed. If she can survive, then we just catch her. Neat! We got Namo! Fantastic! A Namo stores boiling magma in the hump on its back. It is a hardy Pokemon that can transport a 220 pound load. It has served humans at work since long ago. Ooh, wow, a very hard working Pokemon, just like camels in our life, right? Yeah, they're really sturdy, they can survive in the dry, dry desert. Oh, another one? Nope, not yet. What about bye? Alright, three more encounters, then we leave the place. <gasps> oh! Red Pokemon! Swimba! <gasps> Love it! Oh, it's so worth it. Oh, wow. We can use one natural power, because this will turn to Shadow Ball. It won't kill him, I believe. <laughs> okay, not bad. Oh, smog again. Oh, I hate it. I'll be poisoned. Ugh. Bro. Ah! Every single time. Alright. <sighs> oh, Yawan, seriously. You know what? Let's see. Uh, okay. I'm done. I'm flat. I think Rock Smash won't kill him, I believe. Yeah, that should be alright. Neat. Fine. And yeah, I know I will boss the. It's alright. Neat! Slugma! Love it. So Slugma is pretty much a slug becoming fire type Pokemon. I guess that's where the inspiration comes from. <laughs> it is a species of Pokemon that lives in volcanic areas. If its body cools, its skin hardens and immobilizes it. To avoid that, it sleeps near magma. Oh yeah, it looks like magma, you see? You see how fluid it looks like. Ooh, it, it feels really hot. You better not touch it. <laughs> Slugma. Wow, we're catching so many new Pokemon. Oh, by the way, we need to use Antidote again. All right, second last encounter. This one is 
like one percent chance or something. Oh, unbelievable! Oh, it's so fortunate to see this. Here. Oh, we have to catch him. Uh, let's see. But we will be poisoned, perhaps. Oh, that's nasty. Let's use Aaron right away. Yeah, we are sleeping. I don't know when we will wake up, but a few turns should be fine. Grimmer won't kill us. Come on, wake up, please. Shake it off. Slot, ha ha ha, it doesn't affect me. Headbutt, oh, woke up. Neat, flinched. One more. Please do not critical hit him. Okay, I won't risk it this time. I will just catch it right away. Pokeba. I still remember the lesson from Slackhawk. Oh, <laughs> I will never let that tragedy happen again. Oh, these last encounters really pay off. Oh. Born from fluted sludge in the sea. Ooh. Grimmer's favorite food is anything filthy. They feed on wastewater pumped out from factories. Ooh, that's disgusting. Oh. I remember in the animation, Ash actually has a muck, which is the evolution of Grimmer. Ugh. And it must be really stinky. <laughs> And that mug loves hug Ash every time. And Professor Oak as well is one of the victims. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh, all right, last encounter. Then we get out of the cave. Okay, another coughing. We don't need it. And we better run. I don't want to be poisoned. <laughs> bye bye. Ooh, oh, oops. It's such a harvest. Oh. It's wonderful. Ah, oh, lovely. Ooh, we got so many berries here. And we have a double battle. Alright, let's check the conditions of our Pokemons. Lumber. Okay, let's return it to the second place. And maybe Combusken to the top because Lumber is seriously injured. Okay, let's find a way for them to sandwich me. Woo! <laughs> I got a hot Pokemon in Fiery Path, Ekalak. Oh, and me too. I got a bunch of them, actually. Oh, I to get a trainer, please. I need a dramatic battle. I'm somewhat decent. <laughs> that sounds enticing. <laughs> Oh, blue! Wow! It's a fully evolved Pokemon! Impressive! Wow, these trainers are getting tougher and tougher. Alright, mm, let me think. We can use Double Kick on Namo. Oh, hold on. Let's use Umber on Bruloom and Confusion on Bruloom as well, because Bruloom is so dangerous to our Pokemon. Yep. Yeah, she knows a lot of bad moves like Leech Seed, Stung Spore. Yeah, better KO her first. Bye bye. <laughs> Namo is not a big deal. <laughs> Rosilia! Woo! Love it! Tackle, huh? Alright, let's apply the same strategy because Rosilia is grass type, knowing a lot of nasty moves. Let's kill her first, Ember on her, and Confusion on her. Namo is a cakewalk. It doesn't shake anything, so no worry. <laughs> Slugma! Ooh, neat. Ah, oh, disappointing. Are you busy right now? I was thinking that maybe 
Andy, we can't have a rematch right now, but it's all right if you're busy. You don't want my number. What are you talking about? We can register each other, but you never request that. Uh, anyhow. I like the way you battle. It has a certain flair to it. Hmm, thank you. Okay, what Pokemons are available here, actually? Oh, Mario! Level 16. Whoa, let's catch this. I know I already got one Mario a long, long time ago. In episode 5 or something? I don't think I can use double kick. It's gonna kill her, no doubt. Let's just scratch instead. Neat. Okay, one more rollout. Okay, it is building power. We better catch her ASCP. Pokeball! Neat! We got another Mario with a higher level. This one is ubiquitous everywhere. <laughs> Alright, one more encounter, then I'm gonna leave this place. Route one one one. Interesting. Oh, I see. The desert is somehow in the middle. So on the left side it is the fiery path. On the right side it is the desert. So we cannot enter the desert without the goggles. So we use the fiery path on the left instead, giving us the shortcut. Interesting. All right. Oh, can I use? Oh, can I use the mic here actually? Oh, I can't. <laughs> Climbed up. Neat. What do we have? Oh, we have a fighter. <laughs> to myself, I changed all my mates. All right. Hurry up. Oh. oh, my God. That's a really decent Pokemon. Oh. Wow. Okay, how shall we handle this? <laughs> Vital th Yo, that hurts. Oh gosh, I hate you. Oh, double kick. It doesn't do much. That little? Are you kidding? Okay, this is such a threat. We were killed. Unbelievable. Curly up. Yeah, we have to leverage your psychic power to wipe this guy out. Ugh, such a beast. <laughs> Ariyama is so tanky and so strong. Woo! <laughs> love it. Attack yourself! Attack yourself, please! <laughs> love it! Bye bye! <laughs> this is rough. So intense. Wow, a lot of experiences indeed. It's so rewarding. Uncle, I gave up! What do you mean, uncle? What are you talking about? All I can do is to keep training until I can defeat strong who win this chance yourself. Thank you. Actually, what else do we have here? Oh, nothing? Ah, that's boring. Okay, what is this? Oh, ladies, rest stop. Come here and rest your tired bones. Ah! Oh, this must be a healing stop. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, because Pokemon Center is too far, far away. That's why the stop is designed here, helping you regain the health of your Pokemon. Ah, oh, dear, dear. Aren't your Pokemon exhausted? If you like, rest up here. That's a fine idea. You should do that. That's right. Take your time and rest up. Thank you, I need it desperately. A bus can is just that. Oh dear, dear. Are your Pokemon still tired? You should take another rest here. That's a fine idea. You should do that. Uh, you know what? I have regained my energy. Thank you. <laughs> if that's so, we don't need to be shy about it. 
No worry. Oh, the TV. Oh, I must be on TV due to that interview. Let's check it out. In search of trainers. Hi, today I'm visiting an area near Route 101. I'm trying to spot some up and coming new talent in the field. Today we turn our lens on the trainer feeling. There is something about this trainer that piqued our interest. The best way to determine how strong the trainer is. Well, the fastest way is to battle. And so we begun our investigation. That is how we ended up in battle with Billy. In a dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Billy is ruthlessly strong. Here is our impressions after having battled the featured trainer. The combination of Kurnia and Lumber was divine. The sight of them, Kurnia and Lumber, selflessly supported each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Water gun was the move the trainer used to last in our battle. The move water gun is Kurnia and Lumber's sign of friendship. After a battle, we asked the billion for a succinct summary. The trainer replied, incredible. Billy's Pokemon, Kurnia and Lumber, and incredible. Hmm, that is deep. There's a deep significance behind that quote. It is no surprise if a trainer has good things to say. That is all for today. See you again in our next broadcast. Whoa, such a hype, such an advertisement. <laughs> I never expect that this interview will be so dramatic. <laughs> I think the battle was pretty short and nothing special. Well, after reading the news, I feel I'm almost like a hero or something. Thank you for the report anyway. Appreciate it. <laughs> Neat. Hey. I water the plants every day. They grew lots of flowers and they give me lots of berries too. Do you know you can have it? Ooh, raspberry. Neat. I'm going to try really hard. I make berries in different colors. I will try hard too. Speaking of berries, we have a lot of free ones here. Let's pick them up. Fantastic. What if we go down? Ooh, there's a tree. Oh, never mind. It is connected with that uh, resting stop. So we don't have to cut down the tree in order to get there. Hey, who are you? What is that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know, I'll give it this a TM. Will I use it to make a own room? Absolutely. I will say yes because I can get a TM. Me? Find a big tree with drop some vines. Your secret power in front of the trees and vines should get free and jump down so you can climb the tree. You might not have a place for putting your favorite things. It would be an odd secret of a secret base. You should make one too. Another thing, you don't always have to make a secret base in a tree. Try using secret power on the rock walls that have small indents in them. I'm going to look for other places too. Okay, bye. Oh yeah, secret base is such a feature since Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, essentially, uh, in the wild nature, you can find a tree, uh, find some rock, or maybe a wall, uh, or some other places where you can open them up and build your own secret base by using the TM called Secret Power. So a tree like this can be carved out, you can open the space inside, put in your decorations, it's super fascinating. If some mines jump down, this tree can be climbed. Ooh, interesting. Hey, here's a trainer. Have we challenged him yet? I guess not. Okay. Let's have Curlia at the top. Hey, how are you? Show me how much you've taken your Pokemon. Sure thing. I would love to show off. My Pokemons have grown exponentially. <laughs> Electric. Ah, never mind. I had this Pokemon before. Let's use Calm Mind actually to boost up our abilities. Special attack and special defense in the meantime. Wilmer! Ah! I love this Pokemon. So chubby. So bouncy. Love it. Static. Oh, this is really funny chain effect. 
Curlia's ability is copying other Pokemon's ability. And when we stage on, we copy the ability of Electric, whose ability is Static. And now, Wilmer uses Astonish on us, which is a physical attack with a close contact. That's why he is paralyzed due to the static we captured from Electric. Ooh, what a twist. <laughs> but that's so funny. Oh, it's like a butterfly effect. Super potion? Wow, so luxurious. Hariyama! Wow! Everybody has this Pokemon! Ah! Oh, this is hurt, hurting my head. Uh, uh, this Pokemon is a beast. Uh, confusion. Fake. Ah, crap! Screw you! That really hurts! Confusion. At least it's super effective, and we only need two confusions to KO him. Nah, it's fine. We're resistant to this. Thank God. Ooh, level 26! We're growing so fast. Adorable. Ooh, psychic! Wow! That's marvelous! Curly has learned something so good. Oh, man. Love it. Power is 90. Wow. Unprecedented. A powerful psychic attack that may lower special defense. Okay, we don't need Rao, apparently. <laughs> All right. I see you've taken them considerably. Yep, yep. There's much to be learned from your Kuni style. The quest to revenge if it behooves be 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 What's the meaning of that? Behooves? <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Pokemon and trainers learn much too fast. Like, what is important is to never give up, even if you lose. Absolutely. Yeah. Fedora is the mother of success. Whatever. Sounds really corny, but it prevails. <laughs> alright, uh, alright. Curly is dying. Oh, you know what? We can use Super Potion. We don't have to bug the lady there. Potion! <laughs> Ooh, another trainer. Your Pokemon look like serious actors. I have to ask you for an engagement. Let's do it. I'm itchy to have battles with everyone. Whoa, wow, love this Pokemon. Well, I never caught this one. I believe I can find one in the fiery path, but the percentage of this Pokemon showing up is super low. It's abysmal. Uh, yeah, you can never ask for that. Totally based on your luck. Anyhow, uh, wow. Let's calm mine first. <laughs> Ever Torkoal loves using curse. Remember Maze Torkoal adores using this move without even attacking anyone. Uh, it's bizarre. Psychic! See if this is powerful to kill her. Hey, why do you guys love using curse? Uh, that's so funny. Anyhow, bye bye. Wow, they all have super potions? That's unfair. Curia is so powerful now. Oh, so impeccable. After using Calm Mind, Psychic is basically unstoppable. It can kill everything, it can completely sweep the floor. See? Ah! Protect! I knew it! I have Palifur. I'm aware of the move list. <laughs> I won't change your destiny of being killed. Come on, give me a break. You're so obsessed with Protect. Bye bye! Wow! One Pokemon can carry us out! Beautiful. Curlia is a beast after using Calm Mind. One more psychic can do the trick. Bye -bye. Wow, what a beautiful victory. They didn't just look strong, they are strong. 
Of course, I'm not just keeping up the appearance. <laughs> I wish I could become friends with more strong people like you. Oh, thank you. I thought I was raising my Pokemon diligently, but oh no, there is still so much to be done. Your Pokemon are excellent, actually. They're well trained. It's just my Curlia now is a free train after using Combine, so it's not your fault. You just have to stop me from using that in the first place. Anyhow. Ooh. So we have explored Route 111, the one two, the fiery path. Oh, that's so beautiful. What else can we do? <gasps> Route 113! It's connected! Oh, I remember this place. So classic. Oh my god, so beautiful. Oh, by the way, that one is not snow. You see the flakes around in the air? That's not snow. That's actually volcanic ash. <laughs> Ooh! See what, what Pokemons are here. Oh, Slugma again? Never mind. We already got it. Don't need another one. I think I'm going to close the episode. We have done so much today. We have been to many places, seeing different landscapes, catching a load of Pokemon, talking to quite a few folks, and challenging a bunch of trainers. So the next time, we're gonna travel to Route 113. This play is very unique, and I believe we can find some special Pokemon on this route. So till the next time, please take care of yourself. If you have free time, catch some Pokemon. Bye-bye!